Why the f would I blow up Chick-fil-A? It's f***ing delicious. If you have yet to try Chick-fil-A, then there is every possibility that you are wondering what is it that makes it so popular? When most fast food chains offer the same sorts of things, french fries, burgers, fried chicken, Chick-fil-A does many things differently. Of course, there have been some controversies on Chick-fil-A's political views, but their fresh and simple secret recipes keep customers wanting more. Chick-fil-A fanatic or not, here are the top 10 untold truths of Chick-fil-A. Oh, I'm in love with Chick-fil-A. The Chick-fil-A roots can be traced back to the restaurant Dwarf House. Hi -ho, hi -ho. It's home from work we go. The founder, S. Truett Cathy, opened a restaurant called Dwarf House, formerly the Dwarf Grill, back in 1946, which focused on hamburgers and steak. You may not be aware that the Chick-fil-A menu began as a part of the Dwarf House's menu. The Good Brothers Poultry Company approached Cathy with their excess chicken breasts, which were rejected by airlines. Cathy accepted the shipment of boneless chicken breasts and used it in his restaurant at the time. This chicken surplus led to the famous chicken sandwich, which was a meal served at the Dwarf House. After years of perfecting the chicken sandwich recipe, experimenting with different oils, and reducing the preparation time by using a pressure cooker, Cathy decided to open a fast food restaurant purely based on the boneless chicken breast sandwich, leading to the first Chick-fil-A fast food location of 368 square feet in 1967. It was actually the surplus of chicken breasts from a local supplier that led to the creation of the first Chick-fil-A outlet. I'm going to have a hearty meal at the Chick-fil-A. Oh, I want to go. I miss Chick-fil-A. Liking this video so far? Lick your chops, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad. Go on. You know you want to. Give it a try. Chick-fil-A remains closed on Sundays, and not only because it's a holy day. Chick-fil-A's refusing to serve us delicious nuggets on Sundays will be blown sky high! The reason behind not operating on Sundays has to do with Chick-fil-A maintaining religious beliefs that it's a holy day, a day to rest after working six days, mainly to focus on God and family. But another reason behind the non-functional Sundays has to do with the restaurant's 24 hours of operation. Kathy's experience of working in a restaurant that opens 24 hours a day, seven days a week, left him exhausted. He realized how important it was to take time off to spend with his family. Besides, Sunday was not a trading day at the time, which is why Chick-fil-A remained closed on that day. Kathy closed for service the first Sunday after opening his very first restaurant, Dwarf House, and since then has maintained this ritual. Sunday was chosen to allow his employees the time to rest and worship if they chose to do so. Sometimes operators make exceptions, especially when their communities are in need of it, like if there are tornadoes, power shutdowns, or other disasters. Help me. Chick-fil-A. You're my only hope. The real meaning behind the capital letter A in Chick-fil-A. Whoop-dee-doo! What does it all mean, Basil? You have to agree that the name Chick-fil-A is catchy and definitely unique. It can grab anyone's attention within minutes. You may also know that the full form of Chick-fil-A is chicken filet. The fill A is a play on words. But others say that capital A signifies the top quality grade A chicken filet sandwiches. This recipe is top secret and locked away in a hidden vault at the Atlanta headquarters. It can never be replicated because when founder Truett Cathy perfected the recipe and found the perfect blend of seasoning 50 years back, he folded the piece of paper, placed it in his pocket, and then made sure it was locked up in a safe. This is why the A grade justifies the use of the capital letter in the name. It means that no other fast food restaurant is serving the same tasty sandwich. You can only eat this scrumptious chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A fast food chains. The fact that the recipe has not changed for over 50 years, the chicken is fresh and not frozen, and the recipe remains top secret warrants the A grade usage. Does your system have pluses in it, or is, like, A the highest? The chicken filet sandwich at Chick-fil-A is not the most ordered menu item. I want the chicken sandwich. Do you want to order that chicken sandwich right now, Mason, now? Do you think the chicken filet sandwich is the most ordered meal at Chick-fil-A? Yes, it is popular, but not as popular as the waffle fries. The waffle fries are the chain's top-selling menu item, served with all meals at Chick-fil-A or ordered as a single menu item. These fries are overtaking the original chicken sandwich and have turned the French fries industry upside down. The potatoes used are freshly harvested at family-owned farms in Washington state. Many customers love the golden brown crispy fries seasoned with sea salt as it offers more 
value with its quirky shape. It is different to the common french fries that most fast food restaurants offer, making Chick-fil-A the go-to restaurant for these novelty fries. You'll be happy to know that the original recipe has not been tweaked since inception, unlike other fast food chains that have experimented with their french fries. The french fries are pretty good. Great fried potatoes. You're eating healthy fast food at Chick-fil-A. From now on, we're eating healthy around here. We're gonna feel better and we're gonna look better. You'll likely agree that it's hard to associate healthy eating with fast food, especially when there are so many preservatives used. Chicken is usually not free from antibiotics, added hormones, and fillers, which is the type of chicken served at fast food restaurants. But Chick-fil-A is different. Their chicken is antibiotic-free, and the salads are freshly cut. And instead of ordering fries with your sandwich, you can opt for their fruit cup or kale and broccolini hand-chopped salad. These side dishes have received a thumbs up from operators and numerous customers. A handful think it's not as healthy due to the sugar contained in the maple vinaigrette dressing and dried cherries. Nevertheless, it is safe to say that with Chick-fil-A, you can maintain a mostly healthy, balanced diet while eating fast food. Bizarre, but true. There's no doubt that Chick-fil-A will help you feel better about the food that you eat, especially if you prefer healthier fast food. But this is not the only reason for the restaurant's increasing popularity. Apparently, the staff are super friendly, positive, and welcoming, which is hard to come by in the fast food sector. It is my pleasure to serve you. Uh, we'll serve on the chicken the Lord's way unless it's a Sunday, my pleasure to serve you. They make dining at the Chick-fil-A restaurant easy for parents with little children. It's pretty clear why we go to Chick-fil-A. We're treated like royalty here. Kids are tough to handle at restaurant lineups, which is why many parents have avoided dining outside with their kids. They usually consider takeout and sit in front of the TV. But with Chick-fil-A, parents do not have to avoid dining out completely. A few of their restaurants have introduced a valet drive through that allows parents to place an order with their kids in the car. Then they can park their cars, stroll inside the restaurant, where a host will greet them and show the family to their seats. In the meantime, staff have prepared the table with the food, drinks, table mats, and as many high chairs as are needed. Not all franchises offer this service. So far, it's been highly valued at Chick-fil-A restaurants that there are plans to roll out this program at all locations. I don't get why parents are always complaining about how tough it is to raise kids. You're not drinking concentrated lemonade at Chick-fil-A. Is this made from real lemons? Yes. Everyone loves lemonade that has been freshly prepared. There's no denying that fresh lemonade made from freshly harvested lemons supersedes concentrated lemonade any day. You already know that the lemonade served at Chick-fil-A is freshly squeezed and extracted from real lemons. It's not your usual concentrate juice. But did you know that the lemonade only contains three ingredients? Lemon juice, pure cane sugar, and water? And the lemons are squeezed each day by hand? There are no additives or preservatives. With just these three ingredients, they have served over 121 million cups of lemonade that is made out of 250 million or more lemons. The lemonade offers a good dose of vitamin C. Also, if you've not already noticed, their lemonade is consistent in flavor at all their locations. Chick-fil-A buys huge quantities of lemons from Sunkist, which are known to be the best lemons. However, one lingering question remains on whether the diet version is as healthy as the regular lemonade, since Splenda is used instead of sugar. Rest assured, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration (FDA) has confirmed that Splenda is safe after reviewing many toxicology reports and clinical studies. How about some Splenda? Free food to Chick-fil-A's first 100 customers. What you're saying is, if I whatever I walk away with here, it's free. Doesn't yeah. You may be aware that the first 100 customers that camp at any new Chick-fil-A restaurant receive free food for a year, limited to 52 meals and consisting of the Chick-fil-A sandwich, medium waffle fries, and a medium drink. Winner, winner, chicken. Dinner. The way it works is that fans are encouraged to camp out in front of a new location before the grand opening in that region, with promises to reward the first 100 customers to free meals for an entire year. This concept has attracted many customers to Chick-fil-A with large crowds arriving very early to participate in the camp out giveaway. Astoundingly, more than 100 people actually bring their tents and camp out in front of the new restaurant in the main parking lot. Due to its popularity, Chick-fil-A had to introduce a free lottery system to select the first 100 customers. Aside 
Aside from this, Chick-fil-A is not only about business and profit, they want to help people experiencing hardship. They offer free food when disaster strikes. When the busiest airports were closed due to lack of power, Chick-fil-A offered free food to stranded passengers and even operated on a Sunday to cater to these passengers. When tornadoes hit many of the states, Chick-fil-A prepares free food for responders and people injured. Even when a homeless man entered a Chick-fil-A branch begging for food, a restaurant manager offered free food in exchange for a prayer together. Homie, I can't talk. Bring. The Chick-fil-A company can never go public. I'm not going public with this. Kathy's fortune during his operative days earned him a spot on the famous Forbes magazine as one of the wealthiest Americans in the country. Earning a whopping revenue of $8 billion in 2016, this poultry-centric fast food chain is gaining in popularity and, believe it or not, is capable of surpassing other well-known chains. It's predicted to be the third largest fast food chain. But despite the restaurant's success and Forbes' ranking, the founder, Truett Cathy, preferred to keep it a privately owned business. This is a mystery because many companies want to go public to expand their restaurant business and profitability. Chick-fil-A is the hottest restaurant concept that can triple its already huge revenues with a public offering. But Truett Cathy obviously did not want shareholders telling him what to do when they do not know the restaurant, its culture, and the way things operate at Chick-fil-A. There's some talk that this is likely because of religious roots, too. Dan, Truett's son and Chick-fil-A's current president and CEO, is open to going public with the restaurant in order to speed up expansion. Despite keeping the company private, Dan has made his views against gay marriage public, leading to an ongoing boycott within the LGBTQ community. Dan took over in 2013, and in 2014, before Truett passed away, he made his children sign a contract agreeing that Chick-fil-A will remain a privately owned business. But it's hard to say how binding the contract is and whether Truett's wishes will be respected. We may never know. Chick-fil-A supports the livelihood of local farmers and suppliers. Want to make a bit of money? You should do what I did, get into farming. It may not be apparent to everyone, but Chick-fil-A is one restaurant that boosts local business for farmers and suppliers, as well as promotes safety and food processing. Chick-fil-A follows the philosophy that food is essential for life, therefore it should be made a right. This principle has guided the restaurant for over 50 years and is the reason for Chick-fil-A investing heavily in locally farmed produce. Thanks to this, many local farmers and suppliers are flourishing in business within their states and thousands of jobs have been created in local communities. Chick-fil-A staff personally visit farms and suppliers to ensure that global food safety standards are applied. The chickens they serve are raised in barns without cages. Chick-fil-A chicken is 100% real and arrives at the restaurant fresh. There have been controversies of how the chickens were treated before they reached the restaurant, but Chick-fil-A reassured the public that they only collaborate with suppliers who follow environmental stewardship and animal well-being standards. The coffee you drink at Chick-fil-A is also from local farmers supplied through the Thrive Farmer an organization that works to ensure coffee bean farmers receive as much money into their pockets as possible. The famous waffle fries you eat are homegrown potatoes from the Johnson family who started their farm in 1906. The produce they serve are cultivated in the West Coast where the weather is perfect for veggie growth and supplied fresh six days a week except Sundays. Chick-fil-A is also the largest domestic buyer of U.S. peanut oil. Peanuts are a crop in the South where Chick-fil-A's is headquartered, which is why it makes sense to use this oil as the sole supply. All Chick-fil-A restaurants diligently use 100% refined peanut oil to pressure cook the chicken. It's no wonder the chicken tastes so delicious. It's a bit nutty. Near or far, we appreciate every single click of that subscribe button and tap of that bell to join our notification squad. Thanks, Babble Toppers. So stick around and click on one of our other great videos.